French troops can fight with Russian army in Ukraine in four directions. Possible scenarios revealed. The Swiss edition of NZZ modeled the options for the presence of French troops in Ukraine. The most likely option is to deploy a foreign army in Odessa. The article outlines the four most likely scenarios of how the French troops can be used. One, deployment of French troops north of Kyiv to prevent an invasion from Belarus. In this scenario, the Ukrainian forces will be able to transfer the eastern and southern fronts to the front. Two, the troops of France will act as reserves in the Zaporizhia direction. This will make it impossible for the Russian army to break through the Dnipro. Three, deployment of the French troops north of Odessa to secure the key seaport of Chornomorsk. This scenario also provides for the possibility of transferring troops to neighboring Moldova if necessary. Four, deployment of troops in Moldova. Their task will be to support the local army in case of provocations by Russia. The publication notes that France has not yet pointed out specific intentions regarding its military presence in Ukraine. However, the scenario of presence in Odessa is most often heard from high-ranking officials of the country. The first and third options would be primarily strategic and would have political symbolism. In the event of a Russian breakthrough, the ousting of the Ukrainian government led by President Volodymyr Zelensky would be given top priority. If France succeeded in protecting the capital Kyiv from being seized, a quick victory of the Kremlin could be prevented, the author of the article believes. The second option, with the deployment of forces in the Zaporizhia direction, is primarily of military importance. If the Russian army attempted an energetic advance in the southeast, the area north of Zaporizhia would be an operational Achilles heel for Ukraine's defense. The city of Dnipro is a real hub in all directions of the country, the article reads. As the newspaper notes, in the past, the Kremlin understood the signs of strength better than compromise. Therefore, France's military presence would probably be Europe's last chance to prevent defeat in Ukraine and a big war. Azerbaijani COP29 leader urges US to keep climate pledges even if Trump elected. The incoming host of the next COP summit has called on the US and other nations to maintain their climate commitments even if Donald Trump is elected as president in November. In his interview since being named president-elect of the COP29 summit due to be held in Baku, Azerbaijan the week after the US election, Mukhtar Babayev told Newsweek, we hope that all the countries, including the United States, will demonstrate their readiness to fulfill their obligations to fulfill their readiness to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. Trump has premised his 2024 presidential campaign's energy policy on increasing domestic fossil fuel production, telling supporters at a rally in January that we're going to drill, baby, drill, in order to keep gas prices low. Those close to the former president have also intimated his intention to repeal the Inflation Reduction Act, a landmark piece of Biden administration legislation that provides $500 billion in investment for the infrastructure necessary for the transition to a green economy if re-elected. Asked about how he might convince an incoming President Trump to maintain America's pledges to curb emissions, Babayev responded, I think it is a very critical time for the world. We hope that all countries will fulfill their obligations and intentions to provide for that 1.5 Celsius, 2.7 degrees limit. That's why I think and I hope that all countries will demonstrate their readiness and, by action, their activities to provide this target. Azerbaijan's Minister of Ecology and Natural Resources added that his team would continue to work with the current White House administration in the lead-up to COP29 on maintaining the climate agenda it has already adopted. He also laid out his intentions for the climate conference to secure continued cooperation on curbing global warming and broker a financing agreement for poorer countries and urged nations to consider all possibilities on reducing carbon emissions amid the ongoing and environmentally costly Russian invasion of Ukraine. Babayev says his nation has already shown its commitment by transitioning to renewables. Babayev also touted Azerbaijan's very strong policy on energy efficiency programs and said it was using revenues from its oil and gas production to invest in its burgeoning green economy, a method he suggested could be adopted by other fossil fuel-rich nations.